this is into the fire. I take great pleasure in welcoming Tin to the Fire, the mercurial talent, the showstopper, the player with the more X factor than the show itself. Greater Western Rebels forward, Kai Lohman. Nice to meet you, Kai. Nice to meet you too, Liam. Thank you very much for having me on. I appreciate it, mate. Good opportunity. Good yeah. Awesome to have you on the show, mate. I couldn't really find out much about you as a youngster, Kai. What were you like as a young kid? Did you play any other sports? Yeah, pretty like you, uh, Liam. Pretty energetic. Um, a little bit out there as well. Um, so originally from Murrah, which is a little country town um, in between Bendigo and Ballarat. And um, yeah, played a lot of sports going up. Um, so cycling, running, a um, little bit of basketball, a little bit of tennis, a little bit of cricket, so uh, a bit of everything. Um, love to get out there, but yeah, narrowed it down to when I was 15 to probably basketball and footy and then and then chose footy. So haven't really looked back and yeah, so that's it. That's that's the, that's the um, sporting going up. Yeah, a couple of cool sports there, cycling, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's not bad. So did that with the, with the school, um, the energy breakthrough, it's called. Cool. Um, so three three wheel um, trikes. Um, so growing up, used to love that. So that no, was good yeah. fun, Liam. Awesome. So in the junior ranks, were you a huge talent like you are now, or did it take a while before you were noticed? Um, I was always um, pretty good growing up. I think um, so. I always kicked a few goals or um, was in the best. So yeah, growing up, I was pretty uh, not bad. So I played in Bendigo um, in the Bendigo League there. So. Played interleague and stuff like that, um, but yeah, growing up and then sort of took off from 15s when I was in um, Division Two uh, for V Line, and then yeah, sort of took off from 16s playing big country and um, yeah, really just just um, getting ahead and, and getting bigger, bigger and getting stronger um, to where I was noticed and to where I am today. Yeah, awesome. Now the last two years have been so interrupted in Victoria. You poor things have hardly had time to get on the field, let alone shine. What have you been doing to get the most out of yourself leading into the draft? Because physically you're looking good, both speed and endurance wise. Yeah, thank you, Liam. Good question. Um, yeah, been been doing a little bit. Um, so I've got my, obviously my brother at home, um, Jake, who's who's obviously been through the system as well. Um, so he was with the Rebels and stuff. So yeah, staying and doing stuff with him. I think just staying consistent and always having in the back of my mind um, about the draft and and what it could look like in the next twelve months. Um, but yeah, probably just yeah just staying consistent and um, getting out there with Sam Butler, um, some of my friends who I like to um, train with. So going to the gym and, and really just, yeah, just, just looking forward to the future when we get back and to be ready and, and stay fit um, and be ready to when we have a red cold, which has been a few times this year where we've been out of lockdown and in lockdown. So, um, yeah, just staying consistent. This would be a big one there, Liam. Yeah, and poor Victoria have suffered a lot, haven't they? Yeah, they have, mate. Um, it's been very, very inconsistent, so... Uh, we've been, been pretty unlucky. Yeah, very unlucky. Now, in the games you did play this year, you were awesome. In nine matches this year, you averaged 15.3 disposals, 4.7 marks and a goal a game, well above the average for a forward. You must have been happy with that. Were you, what were you able to show the scouts? Yeah, so obviously I started off the season a little bit inconsistent, um, Liam. So I was finding, finding it hard to get uh, learn my role, um, the new high, high forward role. Um, so it's a pretty challenging, challenging role to get to get right, I think. Um, but yeah, as the season went on and got more experience and, and studied the game more and developed my role with coaches and stuff, I think I felt it pretty good. I thought, um, yeah, I was be able to showcase my athletic traits, um, as you've said, um, with marking and, and that combination with speed um, and think as well. And then obviously showing my a little bit of X factor and um, yes, yeah, taking on the game and, and showing my strengths to, to, you know, improve my team and help out. Yeah, great year, mate. Now, on the field, you're super impressive aerially. Your spirit, your speed and zip around the ball, that sidestep would dance around a linebacker. And with multiple pressure acts and high impact per possession, you're exactly what every team needs up forward. Teams are crying out for these traits in a forward. What are the areas you want to improve on? Yeah, so I think um, you've nailed it, Liam. Um, that's what I hope to be. Um, but I yeah. think, yeah, probably, probably my kicking um, is a huge one. And then... Yeah, being, being consistent um, is a huge one as well. Something I've sort of battled with this year, having a good quarter and then having a not so good quarter. So probably stay, staying consistent um, and focus. And then, yeah, all, also trying to improve on my strengths as well. Um, I've, something I've developed, developed over the last two two years is 
his kicking. Uh, so really trying to improve that. And I think um, continuing to do that. So that's probably another one. Yeah, always something well, to improve so. on, isn't there? There is. There is, Liam. Yeah. Now, you make an excellent forward, but you can swing through the midfield and would make a great wingman. What is your favourite position and where do you see yourself settling in the next five years? Yeah, so I think um, I would have said last year or the year before, maybe back flank or wing, um, where I've played um, in the 16s and then early days in the 17s before we went to lockdown. But I think, yeah, as this year, I've played high half forward. So I think that's where I probably see myself um, at AFL footy. Um, and then, yeah, once my body matures and I grow and get a bit stronger and a bit fitter, um, I think I can push into the midfield, uh, which would be which would be nice. And, yeah, I think that's where my position is. Yeah, mid's an awesome position, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Now, being a mid- medium forward with mercurial ability in the air and around goals, a player who uses pace and agility to create opportunities with a massive competitive nature. You've been compared to Isaac Heaney. That's a nice comparison. Do you have a favourite player in the AFL? Yeah, um, I was a bit surprised when um, yeah someone said I played like him, but yeah, I've, awesome. I've sort of modelled my game off. <laughs> I've sort of modelled my game off him over the last couple of years and, and watched him pretty closely. Um, so I always knew I thought sort of had um, similar traits to him um, in the similar role as well. So, yeah, I watch him really closely and, and sort of, yeah, like the way he goes about it. So he's a, he's a player I watch closely and, and sort of model my game off. Yeah, a pretty fair play to be like. Now, you have this incredible ability to make something out of nothing, like MacGyver. A dude my dad used to tell me about that could make a plane out of a piece of wood and a couple bits of wire. If you could pick one thing to hang out, hang your hat on with AFL scouts, what would you choose? Um, I don't know. Probably marking ability, I reckon. Um, and then, yeah, probably the ability to, to hit the scoreboard and, and bring my teammates into the game. I reckon, Liam. That's a good question, that one. Good man. Nice answer. You missed the Vic Country game with an injury. What was the injury and how's it now? Yeah, so I had a bit of um, groin soreness um, on both sides um, where I played a few games um, in a span of probably seven days. I think I played three games um, with school footy because you played on a Wednesday, on a Wednesday. So, um, yeah, they were a bit sore and, um, you know, the physio said um, to, to leave it this week and have a, have a couple of weeks rest, uh, which was a good idea. And um, I came back pretty fit. So, um, yeah, they're feeling great now. Um, still continuing to strengthen them up and, and get them ready for when, when the preseason rolls around. But, yeah, they're feeling great now, Liam. So, all good. Your combine results were impressive. Another opportunity you show what athletic traits you bring to the table. Impressive speed of 2.99 for the 20 metre and 6.19 for the two kilometre. You have a huge athletic prowess. How do you want people to know that are watching you leading up to the draft? Yeah, I think that probably, yeah, I have a bit of combination between the, you know, the, sp- the sprint and, and the 2K and obviously the leap as well, um, which I think they left out. Uh, I think it was 88 centimetres. So um, I was pretty happy with that one. Um, but I think, yeah, probably just that, um, that I can be developed into a, to anything. Um, so, yeah, pretty excited for the future and hopefully I can live up to your expectation. Did you have a favourite thing that you did? 2K? For the, for the common one? Yeah, for the uh, yeah, I was pretty nervous. Pretty nervous for the 2K. Um, I didn't run as I, I was running okay, um, and I was pretty surprised on the day uh, with my results. So I was pretty happy with that. But yeah, also love the the jumps and the sprint. Um, so trying to beat Sam Butler and get under three was was pretty cool. Um, but he got it first, so I was pretty. I had to get under three, which I did, which was which was pretty cool. And we both celebrated, so it was good. Yeah, you did great. Very well earned. Let's have a couple of non-footy questions. If you had to play a different sport, what would it be? Oh, good question. Um, I reckon basketball. Uh, I love watching following the NBA, as you probably do, Liam. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I think yeah, definitely NBA and, yeah, probably try and do that. Play college would be pretty cool. Um, Favourite basketball yeah, team? Obviously not falling up. Uh, Lakers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. James. Awesome team. Favourite pastime activity? Um, I don't know. Probably just hanging out with mates, I reckon. Um, yeah, mucking around, down ball. Um, at lunchtime, it gets pretty crazy. It's pretty good. So, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, it would. <laughs> Number one sports person you'd have around for drinks? Whoa. That was a few good ones. I reckon LeBron James, learning off him would be pretty cool. Uh, yeah. The greatest player He's good. Picking his brains? Yep, 100%. Yeah. What would you have as a last meal? 
a last meal, I reckon a palmer. Um, yeah. I don't know if you call it a palmer or a palmer, but yeah, definitely a palmer. Yeah, it'd be up there for me, spaghetti and palmy. Pretty good ones. Palmy? I call it a palmer. Liam. Oh, we call you, it palmy you, you call down it here in yeah. SA. Might have to oh, have a debate about that one. <laughs> yeah, we might have to. <laughs> Would you prefer to surf or golf? Ah, uh, surf. I've been getting that, into that lately. Um, heading down to Ocean Grove, um, which is Geelong there. Um, so yeah, I reckon surfing as of really? late. I am loving it. So yeah. mm, awesome. Good. If you had to be a gamer, what video game would you choose? Um, I reckon Fortnite. I'm 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 not too no? bad at that, so I reckon Fortnite. Yeah. You, Do you like play 2K? a little bit or? Oh, I don't. Yeah, two K twenty two. I play a bit of two K. Yeah. Good game. Yeah, two K twenty two is good as well. So yeah, any of the, any of them would be good. Yeah, good. Well, Kai, for most people, what I'm about to say isn't that important. But for you, mate, it could be the most important bit of advice anyone has ever given you. So you have to listen pretty carefully. When you get into the AFL, you're going to do some crazy stuff. And the AFL needs you, as Eddie has now left the building. You're going to take over here and get bums on seats. But, mate, that means nothing if you don't have a celebration. Charlie has the motorbike. It's okay, I suppose. Dersma has the crossbow. It's a, it's a little tired. You, my friend, can have the best of the best. The into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might have to bring that out, Liam. What do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon. You'd be pretty happy with the that. hair, I reckon. Yeah, cheers. Uh, yeah, no, it's good. So I'll um, we'll have to bring that out for you. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good, mate. Well, it's been great <laughs> getting to know you, Kai. You're a legend both on and off the field. Good luck in the draft, buddy. Can't wait to see who takes the human highlight reel. <laughs> Thanks heaps for having me on, Liam. I appreciate that. And um, you're a legend. You're doing you're doing great with the interviews. So keep it up. And um, I look forward to talking to you, mate. So well done. Thanks so much. Awesome to have you on the show, buddy.